Sorry for the lack of quality in that sequence that you just saw. I had to shoot it on my phone because I was at work and it would have been weird for me to pull up with this camera. But anyways, um, I quit my job. If you're wondering why I quit my job, it's because now that I'm growing at a really rapid pace on YouTube, I can make income from YouTube and, you know, put more effort into my videos doing this full time. Is something that I really can't wait to say one day. But no, I, I quit because I wasn't happy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I had the most stressful job on the face of the planet. I was a bagger at a grocery store. So the most complicated that it got was, hey, would you like paper or plastic bags? This job would have been perfect for anybody. Hell, it would have been perfect for me a year ago. But the thing is, where I am right now, this job just doesn't work for me. I'm in a position in my life where I constantly feel stuck. And I constantly feel like I'm not advancing in my life at all. Like I can only assume a couple of you do. The problem with me working at a place like Publix is that it enhances that feeling and it makes me feel it tenfold to the point where I would cry like after every shift. I cried in an Arby's parking lot, I cried in a city furniture parking lot, and I cried in a Burger King parking lot almost every shift. It was really taking a toll on my mental health. I remember this one time that I started crying at work was when I was like wrangling up all the carts and bringing them in and then I turned around and I realized that downtown Orlando was perfectly just like in sight. There was like this amazing view of all the lights coming through all the trees and the houses that were closer to me. And it sort of felt like a movie moment where I was here and I wanted to be there. And then I just started crying because I'm a bitch. That's the moral of the story is that this job is an easy job, but I'm a bitch right now. So... It doesn't really work for me. The shot that says memories in the opening of this video is actually like the view from what I was looking at when I cried like a baby. I'm not gonna slander like my old job because no, <laughs> um, it's, it's it's all me. It, it really is. Before I left Publix though, they, Kenai just moved the tripod. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Oh my god, Kina's under the tripod and he stretched, so he just shifted you, so that's gonna bother me when I'm editing this. Anyways, before I left Publix, they had given me a gift card for being vaccinated, and we're gonna go spend that gift card today. Oh, also, they, like, not they, not Publix, but there was this lady at the bakery who was always nice to me, and I was nice to her, and she gave me a donut, and I ate it in the parking lot. It's so nice not being like insanely depressed in a grocery store. I know it's the same company, but this one is cooler than my Publix. So I think that if I worked at this one, I wouldn't have quit. But I don't work at this one, so. every time I record those type of clips. My goal in life is to be so financially stable that I could actually afford liquid death. But until then, you're coming home with me. I don't want to hear any seltzer water slander in the comment section. I know that this is disgusting for most of you, but it's not for me and you have to respect that. Before I started working at one, grocery shopping was sort of like a therapeutic thing for me. And I'm kind of glad that we're back there. Yes, I have no money, but who cares? Money comes back. So I got this money tree. Since I'm out and about and like grocery shopping and whatnot, I might as well run all my other errands. So let's go on an adventure. I don't know where we're going next, but you will in five, four, three, two, one. I came to Ulta because as of late, I've been looking pretty busted and I kind of want to fix that. So we're going to go grab something to maybe help out. I don't know. I 
got the things that hopefully will make my face not this. Kind of want to start taking that shit seriously again because it worked last year and I've just been slacking. This is my second take of like talking to you about this because uh, the first take there was a lady trying to park right next to me and almost ran me over and it was really embarrassing. Because I don't vlog. As of late, this car has been probably the best tripod that I have. For this video and the last video, I've been using my car keys, my car, and my wallet as a tripod. And it seems to be working really well. I don't know why I bothered to buy a tripod. By the way, I forgot to touch on the fact that Florida literally looks like the fucking apocalypse right now. This whole day has just been like clouds and darkness. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. By the way, I'm really sorry if I randomly cut out and end my talks abruptly or um, if I put way too much music, like B-roll stuff in this, because I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know how to vlog and I'm trying to figure it out, so just bear with me. I'll, uh, I'll get there. Completely forgot to tell you, the reason that I'm getting gas is because I'm going to TJ Maxx that's like 40 minutes from me, as opposed to the TJ Maxx's that are closer to me, just because I saw like, um, uh, I don't know how to speak. I saw a bed set that was in the color that I wanted, but I didn't get it last week, and I'm really hoping that it's still there. Because if not, then I'm just going to waste 40 minutes driving. But it's cool. It's all for the adventure. It's all for the vlog. I do it for the vlog. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it for the vlog. Why do my shoes sound this annoying? I hate that. So they have it. Um, I just forgot how expensive it was. I can't get that. as bad as I want it. I did just quit my job. So it doesn't sound like a good idea. It's $80. Wow, but it's so pretty. As unfortunate as me not being able to get the one I want is, um, I did find this. It's only 40 bucks. And it's like a quilt and it's comfortable. So I'm gonna get this. We'll see if I can find some pillows to, uh, you know, make it a little bit more homey, but this is the one. Who's gonna tell me that pillows are $20? <laughs> so, uh, five seconds ago, I walked past this, and then I walked right back because this looks cool. And it's matching with my flannel, so how am I not gonna get this? Also, um, Black Santa. I lied. I think I'm gonna get this one instead, because green. I had to actually get a shopping cart because I'm not sure how it happened, but um, this pot just like sort of hopped in there. I don't even have a plant for it, so I guess we're going plant shopping today, too. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? How are you? So going to be 76, 65. At the beginning, this video was just to be about me quitting my job. And somehow, it's turned into me spending a lot more money than I have. Oh, Jesus. Let's go buy some more things. This is fun. Hey, we made it. We're here at Home Depot. Look at all these plants. I'm having a really hard time picking out which plant I want to get. These are all my options, but I have no idea. I really only have two options because the rest of these are like $40. The cool thing is I have both of these plants in my Animal Crossing home. So, kind of swag. There's this one that's like super cool. But then, look at the yucca. That's a fine yucca. I don't want you to perceive me as a big, fat, stinky liar. I don't lie. It's a very rare occasion that I lie. But this would be the second time in this video where I lie and go with something else. This is what I'm getting. I'm not getting the, the Animal Crossing plants, sadly. Like, how am I not gonna do that? I'm gonna go put those back because I had to dig pretty deep to grab that one. come to the realization that I am the menace behind the spending in my bank account. Uh, I got another plan. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I got pizza. Ooh, that fucking crunch! As you can guess, there's a bunch of stuff in my living room right now that's just there. Now, the procrastinator in me is telling me to do it tomorrow, but there's another person living in this head, and that person is motivated Danny, and that Danny is saying to, like, just do it. Just, just fucking do it. I'm wearing Nike shorts, aren't I? Yep. 
Just, just, you can't even see it. Just do it. So we're just, we're just gonna do it. So that took a little bit longer than I anticipated. It's now two o'clock in the morning. Awesome. I owe a big thank you to Animal Crossing for giving me a little bit more knowledge on interior design and what makes stuff look good and what doesn't. Moving all these things around my apartment really did feel like I was playing the game in real life. In the game it's fun because I'm not really like sweating, but in real life, I smell like Badissi. I've been wanting to change my apartment for a little bit now. I'm here till like next August. So if I'm gonna live next to uh, my weird neighbor, I better make this my safe haven and make it a little bit more tolerable and more vibrant. That's kind of what I'm going for is like a lot of greens and a lot of like mustard. I don't know what fucking color this is, but I like it. I still need a rug. I want more plants and I want different wall art, but for right now, this is nice. I think that's it for the video. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't know how long this video is, but the day, the day's been pretty long. I really do appreciate you watching this. It means a lot. I've uh, seen my analytics go up a lot these past couple weeks with these videos that I've been uploading. So I guess you guys like them. And if you like this one in particular, leave a like if it didn't suck ass. And subscribe if you want to watch me. If you want to watch me a couple more. My neighbor's passing by and he's gonna look in here. Yep, there he is. Can I but I kill this man? <laughs>